हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सो वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट फोर टू नाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन टू मेक एलिमेंट्स इन एरे डिस्टिंक्ट ओके सो लेट्स रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट यू आर गिवन एन इंटीजर एरे नम्स यू नीड टू इंश्योर दैट द एलिमेंट्स इन द एरे आर डिस्टिंक्ट ओके टू अचीव दिस यू कैन परफॉर्म द फॉलोइंग ऑपरेशन एनी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स रिमूव थ्री एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द एरे इफ द एरे हैज फ्यूअर देन थ्री एलिमेंट्स then remove all the remaining elements okay note that an empty array is considered to have distinct elements we have to return the minimum number of operations needed to make the elements in the array distinct okay minimum number number of operations needed to make the elements in the array distinct okay so see this example number 1 okay so here a uh, one then two then three then four then two okay so there is one duplicate right okay then three three okay 3 is 3 times right so this is also duplicate 5 and 7 okay so what i am going to do here to solve this problem i am going to create one set okay so let's say this is my set okay and in my set i am going to add all the elements so th there is a one property of set that it is going to contain only unique elements right so here i am going to add one i can add two i can add three then four okay two is already there i am not going to add it again 3 is already there i am not going to add it again then i am going to add 5 then i am going to add 7 okay so see here uh, the nums of total length okay the length of this nums array uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay 9 is the length of this nums array and what is the length of this set so 1 2 3 4 5 6 six elements are there okay so these two lengths are not matching okay that simply means that there are duplicate elements in my nums array okay so if my nums dot length is not matching with my length of the set okay that simply means that there are some duplicates okay so now what we need to do okay so now in that case i have to remove the first three elements okay i have to remove first three elements okay so now after that i am going to create i am going to clear this set okay i am going to clear this set i am going to remove all the elements in this set and then i am going to start the adding the elements from this point okay from this point in my set okay so here i have added the elements like this 4 uh, 2 3 5 and 7 okay so see the length of this part uh, this part 1 2 3 4 5 6 and length of this part is 5 okay so again length is not matching again length is not matching okay so i am going to clear all the elements in my set i am going to create a new set i am going to remove first three elements and i am going to add the elements here so 3 Five seven. So now length is three, and here also length is three. Both are matching. Okay. So now all the elements in the set are unique. Okay. So how many operations I did? So this is nothing but my first operation. This is my second operation. Okay. So two operations I did. So that is my output is two. Okay. So I hope that you guys are clear. Okay. So this is the approach that I am going to take to solve this problem. All right. So see here. Four five six. Then we have four four. Okay. So first of all, uh, I have added all the elements in my set. Four five six. Okay. So my set length is uh three, and this length is five. Okay. So it doesn't matching, right? Simply means that there are some duplicates. Okay. So I'm going to remove first three elements. Now I'm going to add this four and four. Okay. Four and four. All right. So here in the set, uh, only one four will come, right? This is a set. So here the length is. One and here length is two. Again, it is not matching. So, uh, this is also not working. Okay. So now after that, uh, here uh, after that, uh, I have to remove one, two, and three. Okay, three there is nothing. Okay, there is nothing here. Okay. So uh, in the next set, everything else will be unique. Okay. So there is nothing left out here, and in the set there is nothing. Okay. So that simply means uh, unique elements. Okay. So note that an empty array is considered to have distinct elements. Okay, so I'm going to remove these two. Okay, so here how many operations I did? One operation, two operation. Okay, so that's it. So now let's move to the coding part. Okay, so here uh, we are creating one set. Okay, and in the set I'm going to add all the elements. All right, and then I'm going to compare the size. Okay, so if the size is matching, that simply means that array is already distinct. Okay, we are just simply going to return zero. Okay, now If size is not matching, then we are going to initialize variables for tracking operations. Okay, how many operations we are going to do? So initially, operation is zero, and start index is zero. Okay, starting from zero index only. All right. Then I am going to 
run one loop okay we have to continue removing groups of three until the array becomes distinct okay so while my start index is less than nums dot length okay then we have to remove up to three elements starting from the current index right so here remove count okay so remove count is going to be mat dot mean of three or nums dot length minus start index okay so if my array contains only two elements then i can't take this three in the remove count so that is why i have to take the minimum okay three or my nums dot length minus start index let's say zero in the starting so two so that's why i'm writing like this okay int remove count is math dot mean three nums dot length minus start index okay then we have to increment the start index for the next time okay start time okay so here start index i am going to start from here then okay if i am getting two here okay remove count as two so from here i have to do the start index okay from here okay and this is done and we have to increment the operation for one time because here we already know that these elements are dist, uh, dist, not distinct right so we, we have incremented the count of operations then for the next case i am adding the remaining array for the duplicates okay so i have cleared the my set and remaining elements i have added okay again i compare the size okay so if it becomes uh, uh if my size becomes the nums dot length minus start index simply means that all the elements are distinct okay then only in that case we have to break otherwise again go back here okay and pick the next start index that we have okay compare it with nums dot length and take the remove count again okay whatever the minimum remove count okay and then uh, update my start index to that remove count okay uh, increment the operation previous operation and again do all these things okay until this becomes uh, my array becomes distinct okay and in the end we have to just return the operations how many operations we did right so this submission is accepted right so i hope that you guys are able to understand question number one of weekly contest 429 please like this video share this video with your friends and please subscribe to my youtube channel for latest weekly contest solutions and daily lead code problem solutions thank you bye bye